With that, we move on to a special address titled Expanding the Horizon, the Agile Innovation of Startups. And it's an honor and privilege to welcome and introduce Poini Bhatt, Chief Executive Officer, Society for Innovation and Entrepreneurship at IIT Bombay. Poini, over to you. Good afternoon, all of you. First of all, thank you very much for having me here. As a representative from the business incubator community, it is indeed a privilege to speak for startup at this summit. Uh, so whenever we speak about you know, innovation or innovation-based economy, now it is in almost impossible to you know, not include startup in this conversation, right? Our, our technology business incubator was one of the very early incubators in an academic setup. Having started two decades back, we have supported almost 200 startups. And since then and now, like, you know, during this phase, our country has seen phenomenal growth of startup environment, startup ecosystem in the country. Yeah, from almost crash to becoming one of the leading nations globally, leading startup nations globally. So as it stands, India today is the third largest startup nation globally. Yeah. We also have a very, very active and supportive startup ecosystem where various stakeholders support entrepreneurship and startups. For example, government. Government was very, very early promoters of startup when startup was not even mainstream or buzzword in the country. Government came out with various funding schemes and policies to promote entrepreneurship. Investors, now we have a very vibrant investing community willing to invest at every stage of startup cycle. Yeah. Be it angel investors or be it seed capital or be it growth capital. Collectively, they ensure availability of capital at every stage of startup life cycle. Startup culture of startup. Now it's just not limited to metro or bigger cities. Yeah, they have percolated down tier two and tier three towns and also at a district level. New startup hubs in tier two towns are emerging like Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Indore, Pune, Bhubaneswar, so on and so forth. Academia is becoming a hotspot for the startups. Yeah, young talents and uh, mature faculty expertise or researchers expertise together with, you know, technology resources on various academic campuses are combined to come up with the new ventures, which are IP based ventures across many sectors. Most importantly, India also has a now very, very widespread digital infrastructures. Startups are dramatically altering life of ordinary people, the combination of technology and integrated solutions provides so much more with a single click. Even when we look at globally, like, you know, there is a paradigm shift in people's behavior, the way we access information, the way we communicate, the way we plan our commute or plan our travels, the way we eat just by ordering food, you know, by clicking, a, uh, clicking on our mobile phone or computer, our buying behavior, entertainment, banking, there's a paradigm shift in every, every walk of our life. And much of it has been basically, you know, driven by startups. Yeah. We also see sectoral diversity. Yeah. What we started in late 90s or early of this century in IT and IT, IT space. Yeah, now we start, we see startup in pretty much every sector, every industry sector, let me put this way. Yeah, deep tech, deep science companies are, lead, you know, leading new waves of startup to solve much deeper solutions. We have more than 100 unicorns in the country 
and we see startup ipos also happening in the country so the whole whole basically you know environment i think justify our position as a you know leading position as a startup nation entrepreneurship is becoming a preferred career option so you know when i look back like i see startup evolution mainly in three three segment one is pre 2005 yeah then a decade later and now what we see now and immediately future in next decade yeah pre 2005 was mainly the wave of the startup in it and it it space yeah just open it was then just opening of economy liberalization globalization availability of human capital were the main driving force of entrepreneurship in those days combine that with like you know opportunities thrown by white to pay problems a plethora of startups came in internet dot com software services bpo kpo even you could see some of the you know first generation ventures coming in pharma space also pharmaceutical space mainly in generators yeah but during that phase like you know it giants like infosys wipro genpet or pharma large company like dr reddy ran vaccine they became a global global names however they were mainly low on innovation i mean mainly low on technology innovation but their innovation were mainly in business processes or business models the next phase i would say the next decade actually saw the emergence of more innovative startups innovation based technology based product based startups yeah and also sectoral diversity basically widen during those days we saw startup in education clean tech you know energy telecom consumer internet media and entertainment fintech robotics industry it the whole new wave of startup came they became also very successful they they, they would just come out with problems uh, come out with solution in two years three years and started deploying right and the main driver during those days were like telecom and internet i would rather say dropping cost of telecom and internet you know changing consumer behavior and you also started seeing emergence of investor community that made basically you know risk capital available for the startup however i think real real like in you know, ip based or deep tech deep science hard tech startup basically we see them in last 6 7 years across the domain which were not really perceived the domain for for like you know startup long gestation uh, uh, those sectors having long gestation period like biotech healthcare space tech defense just a decade back it was not really a very very popular domain for you know entrepreneurs to be in yeah you see startup in industry uh, and manufacturing segment you see startup you know addressing solutions for food tech and agri tech and of course there are many other startups peripheral to this this basically verticals and i would say now like you know as a ecosystem we have arrived yeah startup are now pretty much mainstream across industry sector across the country and across the geography within the country yeah they offer globally competitive innovative solutions with underlying hard tech and deep science sciences many of them use horizontal technologies such as robotics or drone tech iot ai ml extended reality blockchain these are the new technology waves they are very agile you know 
within a short span they can come out with like you know solutions offer solution that bring ease save time for the user they are much more economical cost effective and enhance reach and accessibility now you see the solution startup solution deployed in manufacturing segment you know solutions right from monitoring the production quality to asset monitoring to supply chain tracking to training workforce using newer age technology you know there are vision based inspection solution to do quality check batch production packaging labeling robotics are automating the solution at shop floor level inventory management inventory moment packaging yeah predictive maintenance of assets or equipment or machine monitoring of man machine material everything at shop shop floor level enabled by startup solution essentially the outcome is automation improved quality efficiency global competitiveness and you know reduced time similarly you see startup solution you know engaging in healthcare sector starting with diagnosis point of care treatment innovative therapeutic solutions you know india was really not known for startup jumping into healthcare space today there are you know numerous solutions out there yeah uh, covid also basically you know i like uh, proved their basically contribution you know first rt pcr kit that was came in the country was by startup launch in the country that was by startup yeah remote monitoring solution telemedicine solution startups in basically collaborated partner with uh, uh, government hospital to reduce basically pressure on the workforces yeah there we are talking about artificial intelligence extended reality metaverse to drive retail sector right in the fashion industry to basically customer experience to set up the dark store so on so forth in in case of mobility from the lowest hanging fruit like smart parking to battery management technology to newer materials in ev space you know all of them are driven by startups yeah and then there are ample uh, of startups there are ample examples in other other segment you know enterprise saas fin so electric appliances space tech so on so forth however the startups also have their own challenges yeah challenges of finding the first customer challenges of you know rap rapid innovation adoption by user and businesses alike yeah they do need corporate support basically at is uh, to to basically you know scale up their, their their manufacturing to use their supply chain also strategic capital so just to conclude you know if we want to achieve our economic goal we need the amalgamation of agility of startup availability of capital and corporate participation in scaling them thank you very much for your time and attention ladies and gentlemen that was poiny but chief executive officer society for innovation and entrepreneurship at iit bombay with the special address titled expanding the horizon the agile innovation of startups thank you very much for your special address ma'am do stay tuned in we will be back on the other side with the leader's view on dynamic innovations future of urban infrastructure